Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my colonial. So recently I was walking around Hongdae and I came across a bunch of new vintage toy shops that I have not been to before. So I filmed a little bit inside and I hope you enjoy this quick tour. So when I first got to Seoul, I noticed this phenomenon of vintage toy shops. And these are shops that carried items from my childhood like Care Bears and Cabbage Patch Kids and Popples. And I just loved going into these shops because it was just so nostalgic for me. It made me feel so happy. And I actually did a video on those shops which I will link in the corner at the end if you guys want to watch it. But when I went back to Hongdae recently, I noticed that there is this whole new wave of vintage toy shops that I had never seen before. And I think this caters to kids who were born in like the 90s or maybe the early 2000s. Jenny Rocket is one of those stores and this store seems to carry every single Toy Story item out there. This store has a really nice collection of Toy Story stuff. And Toy Story was released in 1995, so I think that the kids who are in college nowadays probably find this store really nostalgic. So if you are a Toy Story buff, then you will absolutely love this shop. I mean, they even have the Bo Peep and vintage Barbie that appeared in the movie. But in addition to Toy Story merchandise, they also have a few other vintage items like Trolls and vintage Barbies. When I asked about purchasing some of the vintage items, they were actually not for sale. So the way that this store works is that it displays a lot of vintage merchandise, but the stuff that's for sale is stuff like this little shopping cart, and then they have newer versions of plush toys that they sell. For example, that blue Care Bear and these Ted dolls. I think the fun of coming into these toy stores is not coming in to actually purchase the vintage toys, but just to have a look around the store and sort of be transported back into your past. And then the items that are actually available for purchase are these little coin pouches and stamps and pens and keychains and just little trinkets like that that you could probably find at the Dongdae Moon Beads Market. But honestly, in Korea, who really has the space to put up all these shelves and display all of these vintage trinkets in their room? It's a lot more practical to be able to come here and just look around and be transported back to the past and maybe buy a small trinket for yourself like a Dumbo headband to use while you do your skincare routine or a small keychain or pen that doesn't take up too much space in your house. My favorite thing in this store was the Care Bear merchandise, like this Care Bear keychain. I don't know if kids from the 90s were into Care Bears or not. If you were born in the 90s and you like Care Bears, leave a comment and let me know down below. Personally, I love coming to these little tiny stores that are just packed with knickknacks and little cute things and I like to see what treasures I can find. I thought that these trolls were super adorable. I remember having one with pink hair when I was little. Mr. Potato Head! Did you guys have one of these toys growing up? I'm always drawn to the Care Bear stuff, so I was really tempted to get this Care Bear pouch. But is it just me or does this face look a little unfamiliar? Maybe it's a newer version of the Care Bears. I think this is either an ice cream sandwich or a regular sandwich. I'm not really sure. But I've seen that pouch at other stores and I've been really tempted to get it. So this shelf has a lot of fun stuff. I see the Simpsons, Animaniacs, and these Barbies. I wonder if they're actually McDonald's toys? Let me know in the comments if you recognize them. And do you remember those disposable cameras? I used to have a couple of those every time I went to summer camp. And do you guys remember when we used to take photos without knowing what the photos looked like until the film was developed? So the one thing that I really wanted from this store is that blue and purple chandelier. It's from a Japanese brand called Swimmer that has now gone out of business. But unfortunately, it was not for sale. The Marshall speaker is a must-have for any cool store in Korea, but I feel like in the US this would end up getting stolen at some point. I love those tiny iPod cases that look like backpacks. Isn't this Toy Story alien doghouse the cutest thing ever? Okay, let me know in the comments how you like this store compared to the next one. Two years ago when I filmed my Hongdae video, I went into the same store and it was completely different. 
Now it's called Yummy Toy and it is another vintage toy shop. So the first thing that caught my eye was this shelf of Care Bears. Always a must in any good vintage toy shop. And this is another place where a lot of these vintage items are not actually for sale, they're just for display. And they have a lot of little trinkets that you can buy in the center like stickers, but most of these items that I'm showing on the shelves are just for display purposes. I recognize this mini block set from McDonald's in Japan. I remember when it went on sale and I was really tempted to get it, but I did not get it. Here's a Winnie the Pooh shelf and below they have a bunch of Disney Christmas ornaments. And I think I actually have one of those ornaments in my collection. This is Monchichi Babichi. It's a Japanese doll that looks like a monkey. This one surrounded by the little pom-pom balls is super cute. They also have a nice collection of Pekochan merchandise, and if you like Asian candy, then you probably recognize this character from the Milky Candy, which is a chewy milk flavored caramel. They also have quite a nice collection of trolls. So last time I did a video on vintage toy shops, there were two stores I featured that are no longer in business. One of them is Neko Coach and the other one is called Contoiner. And Contoiner had so much stuff. I'm wondering what they did with all of it. I wonder if the new owners sold it to some of these newer shops or if they reopened under another name. I'm not really sure, but this shop seems to have quite a few Japanese items like the Monchichi Babichi as well as the Peko-chan stuff. Beanie Babies! Do you guys remember those? I love this little vignette here, especially that squarish television set playing Cinderella. The My Little Ponies. There was one vintage one and I think the rest were the newer version of the My Little Ponies. Cabbage Patch Kids, always a must have for a cute vintage store. And now we're coming to the area of stuff that you can actually buy. I think most of those items that I showed were not for sale. But here's where you're gonna find the keychains. This camera is really cute. And there's a couple of Sanrio items, washi tape. These miniature sunglasses, I'm not really sure what those are for. Are they for a doll? And there are a lot of stickers here. I think that these are vinyl stickers that you can put on your suitcase and in Korea it's really trendy to have one of those big silver suitcases and then just cover your suitcase up with stickers. So there are a lot of cute nostalgic stickers here like Powerpuff Girls and Disney characters and other things. They also had a small basket of patches which they call wrapping in Korea and they had a pretty nice selection of pens. I thought that these paper clips were cute, but honestly, who buys paper clips? I mean, I would buy a box of them, but I don't think I would buy them a la carte. Okay, this next store is a little bit different, and I wasn't sure if this was a vintage toy shop or not. I just found this space kind of interesting. I did not take the time to read all the writing because I can read Hangul but I'm very slow. So I just decided to go down and check it out. And this place was packed to the brim with vintage stuff but as you can see it's different from the other places I visited. Here all of the vintage items are behind glass windows and you can actually buy them. And the prices I think are pretty reasonable. Everything was sort of organized by category to the extent possible. There's like this Hello Kitty section, but then there's another section that really made me smile because it had those little Fisher Price toys. We had those growing up and my mom actually still has them at her house. So when we go back to visit her, my kids can play with them. This store had all kinds of stuff, but I think most of it was either Japanese, Korean, or American. And they even had like a vintage video game. I don't recognize this game, but it looks really old. There were a lot of minifigures here, and I saw some Gashapon toys as well, and things that look like they came out of a McDonald's Happy Meal or one of those Kinder Surprise eggs. Honestly, just a lot of cheap plastic junk, but if you're into a particular character, then you can probably find it here. I love that telephone. I really want a pink or purple rotary phone. 
Do you guys see that yellow Walkman? Oh my gosh, what a relic. There's Rika-chan, which I believe is sort of a Japanese version of Barbie. I saw this Astro Boy and it made me think of my husband because I always remember the story he told me of when he got an Astro Boy toy for Christmas and it was so magical. Okay, the last store is called Neon Moon and this store doesn't have as much vintage stuff as the other one, but this one really appeals to me and I think you'll see why. Sanrio, oh my gosh. I saw a lot of these items in the Sanrio store when I visited Japan. I mean, I vaguely recall seeing this can, but I don't think I realized that it held washi tapes. And this washi tape Ferris wheel is just to die for. A lot of times I'll see things in these stores and then I'll make a mental note to myself to go check on eBay and see if I can find it. That's how I felt when I saw that Mickey Mouse viewfinder. Did you guys have one of those when you were little? This store is really small, but all the Sanrio items made me smile, even though they were not vintage. Sanrio stuff can be hard to come by in Korea. I was really tempted to buy this purse in the shape of a can. I didn't buy any of the Sanrio items here though because I remember seeing a lot of them in Japan and I felt like they would be more expensive here. If you want to go shopping at Sanrio in Japan with me, then I do have a video on that which I will link for you. This store did have some lucky bags which I thought was really fun and I really like that vintage UFO catcher even though it's not functional. This store seemed a little bit dark and dingy, but it was still fun to look through and if you happen to pass by it, then I recommend stopping in. Check out this playlist if you like vintage toys and check out this playlist if you want to see more videos about what to do when you come to Korea. I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Bye!